G'day viewers, this is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts Channel. Here I am metal detecting the ruins of a 1900th estate near the beach. And yeah, I'm just I've been here several times. I've found found some pre-decimal coins and some other nice old relics. Here I am with my Nocta Macro Simplex detector looking for deeper targets and yeah, first decent target of the day. An old fork and it has a hallmark on the back definitely not silver though <laughs> but still nice find all right let's keep going all righty viewers heading towards the old house site got my first pre-decimal 1916 half penny very common year I seem to find quite a few 1916 half pennies Unfortunately, it's not the super rare quarter anna mule era. Of course, it won't be. They're, they're rare and rock and roll shit. Anyway, cool to, to find another pre decimal here. Thought I'd clean this place out. <laughs> Alrighty, let's keep going. Okay, viewers. Dug up an old jar. It's made pre 1980 as it has the old AGM logo on it. Also some, it looks like, looks like a iron rivet or something, or iron nail, I don't know what this is. Don't know if it's a keep worthy relic or not. Clean it up when I get home to see if it's anything of importance. Alrighty, let's keep going. Okay viewers, just found myself an old belt buckle with an extremely rusty latch. It's quite common back then they make the buckle bit out of probably copper or some kind of some kind of non-ferrous metal and the latch out of, out of uh, iron steel so and um, of course they will get rusty over time and form a big cake of rust around it anyway old belt buckle all right might have to finish up soon because yeah, I've got to go and pick up a, up uh, my friend's daughter and head down to her uh, birthday party. So, yep, thought I'd get a quick couple of hours here before I go do that. All right, anyway, no wasting time. Let's keep going. Okay, viewers, right next to that belt buckle, found this interesting-looking old iron relic. Some kind of ring piece with a with a stake end on it I'm not sure what these were used for I guess they I guess you probably stick it in the ground there and I guess run rope for it perhaps interesting old relic I'll take that with me and I'll actually preserve that one all right let's keep going okay viewers found a tap handle or some kind of turn valve Pretty manky, yeah, pretty old, I guess. Probably pre 1950s, maybe. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, viewers, here I am back at the uh, old estate a few days later. Yeah, thought I'd pick up where I left off. Hopefully, I might find some old coins and relics. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, viewers, first find worth videoing a bullet head alrighty let's keep going okay viewers found a 20 cent piece alrighty let's keep going okay viewers found a relic I guess this is probably part of the old homestead that was once here I guess it mounts onto a wall or something and I guess a pole goes in the middle anyway looks quite interesting also nearby I found a couple of these square shaped washers I think they would be called don't know what exactly they were used for but anyway they were nearby alright let's keep going Okay viewers, 
Yeah, another one of these washers and also what looks like a piece of decorative ceramic of some kind might have been used for tiling I guess I don't know alrighty let's keep going viewers first awesome find of the afternoon at this estate an old coin of some sort or it could be a token I'm not sure but yeah I am not sure what country this coins from but certainly ain't certainly ain't from here nor from Britain it's got some dude's head on the back don't know who haven't got my cleaning gear with me but anyway it's a possibility that this coins might be from the 19th century or early part of the 20th century that's just my guess but wow awesome find looks like a uh, looks like it's been worn as a pendant as it looks to be a hole up the top wow awesome coin I actually I actually got it was actually down very deep too it's the beauty of my new Nocta simplex and get the deeper stuff that I couldn't previously get with my Xterra 705 yeah I'm really curious what age this coin is anyway I'll find out the date before I before I give the wrap up so yeah all right let's keep going okay viewers just a little update on this uh, coin here it's actually a trade token I believe and it's actually it's actually a New South Wales make trade token it says welcome return New South Wales don't know what it says on the bottom I thought it might have been continent or something but it doesn't say that on the back the uh, bust is, the name of the, the guy on the bust is Gordon I've done some googling but I haven't found any results yet on this particular token anyway that looks like Britannia and that looks like a ship I believe and I would not be surprised if this token is from around the mid 19th century. Anyway, beautiful find. Alright, let's keep going and see what else I can find around this area. Alrighty viewers. First pre-decimal coin of this afternoon's hunt. 1927 Commie Penny. Quite a common year for the Commie Pennies. I find quite a lot of 1927s. As well as 1922s. Anyway, I think I might have nicked it with the shovel, but nah, oh well, got plenty of these. Bit of copper cancer on the back, which often is the case. Anyway, cool. First pre decimal on board for today. Let's keep going. Okay, viewers, dug a rather interesting relic piece. Looks like part off a perhaps uh, an oil lamp or something. It's got a Got a crank there, turn wheel, whatever you call it. It's got a grill there. Could even be off a portable gas stove. Anyway, interesting find. Let's keep going. Okay, viewers, found this little device. Don't know what this is, what if it, what it's off, but it's kind of interesting. All right, let's keep going. Alrighty viewers, first goldie, two dollar coin, yeah, in a rather obscure place, alrighty let's keep going, okay viewers, found an old water valve, looks to be from the early part of the 20th century, part of the 20th century, yeah, not a bad looking relic. Alright, let's keep going. Alright viewers, found an old button. Just a standard old metal button. Alright, let's keep going. Okay viewers, here's the wrap up of the last two hunts I did at a local estate area where a house once stood. Yeah, I've 
found some pretty awesome things. Uh, starting uh, with the coin finds, found a half penny dated 1916 and a 1927 commie penny. Found two dollars twenty in spendables. My highlight find of of hunting there is this what I thought was a token, but it is actually a military medal. And uh, yeah, doing my research on it, I've identified it to be a a, a medal comm commemorating the return of the of of the Australian troops, the New South Wales contingent from uh, the war in Sudan in 1885 and on the back is General Gordon so this medal dates 1885 wow and um, yeah that that uh, hole up there it is um, it was officially punched in there uh, for this medal it's not a you know it's not a post uh, drilling Anyway, uh, looking at the looking at the uh, metal material used for this this uh, metal, it, I don't know what I don't know what the general metal use is. Probably bronze, I guess. But it was uh, gilded with uh, I think gold. So the, the, that that uh, gold coloured uh, gilding on the metal could be could be actual gold. Don't hundred percent know for sure though. But yeah, most of it's worn off anyhow. It's been in the dirt for God knows how many decades. And it was down deep too. Probably a good 15 or 20 centimetres at least. So yep, that's the front side of it. You see the Britannia there and you see a ship. And the, the uh, back side of it you see... The bust of General Gordon. Alrighty. Other finds include a button, a little uh, board head, this uh, top thingy, don't know what it is. Found this uh, fork which has a which has a hole marks on the back. Don't know what material was used to make this fork, but it ain't silver. This uh, belt buckle with with a extremely rusty latch. This uh, this ring stake thing. Couple of uh, valves, tap valves, and I uh, found this. What looks to be off a. Uh, oil lamp I'm guessing or kerosene lamp or something like that alrighty hope you enjoyed this hunt stay tuned for my next hunt this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out